Aaron, hi there, really enjoy your podcast. The question I have for Dutch is, has he ever come across a champion in wrestling who not only refused to drop the title, but actually left the territory with the belt, stealing the actual championship? Thanks so much. Apart apart from Ric Flair, oh, yeah. that's a very famous one. But any others? Oh, yeah. Snowman. <laughs> we, just, we just talked about him. He left Memphis because he said that the company owed him money, and Lauder said he didn't. And he says, well, I, I, I got the belt. So, and I don't know how they they got the belt back. I guess they gave him some money, I guess. But, and here's a, here's a story. I was the champion. <laughs> I'm telling a story on myself now. <laughs> I was a champion after Lawler had sold Memphis to a guy named Larry Burton. You ever heard about Larry Burton? Yeah, I think we've talked about the USWA shocking Larry, sales. Larry a Burton. I found out later it wasn't even his real name. He was a con guy, a sw- uh, really a con con job. So. When they were getting ready to close it up, and I saw they were getting ready to close it up, well, I was the, I think, the universal heavyweight champion, the big belt. And uh, I had it. And then Larry Burton called me one day, and he says, and he had a weird voice. You, you'd want to, really, if Larry Burton came and sat down with you right now, within five minutes, you'd want to punch him. <laughs> Just by the way he talked, he said, well, Dutch, I got to tell you, blah, 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 blah. Oh, you want to punch him? Because I used to, I have never cussed a man to his face like I've cussed Larry Burton. And Larry Burton would cuss me back to my face. I don't think anybody's ever cussed me that way either. But that was our relationship. So he called me one day, Dutch Larry Burton, when are you going to give that belt back? I said, what belt? You know what belt? <laughs> I said, oh, that belt I have now, that, you know, that universal belt? Yeah, when are you going to give it back? I said, well, I can give it back at any time. He said, well, when? I said, well, when you pay me my money. What money? I said, the money you owe me. I don't owe you no money. I said, oh, yeah, you do. You owe me some money. Well, I don't owe you money. I said, Larry, you owe me money, you SOB. Then I started cussing. That's how I just directed my comments at him. He says, what I owe you? I said, I think you owe me about 1600 bucks. Oh, hell no, 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 F no, F no, 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 no. He kept on. I said, well, I, this is the deal, Larry. Bring me my money and I'll produce the belt. If not, it's not going anywhere. I'll sue you. I'll sue you. I says, well, sue me. I said, do you have any ownership papers on that belt? Do you have any papers that says that, or does Lawler have any, this was before Larry got there. Does Lawler have any paper that says he paid X number of dollars for the belt? I don't know. I said, well, you better be finding some. You better be finding some evidence that you own the belt. Otherwise, it's not going nowhere. And I said, anyway, I'm going to Puerto Rico. He said, well, I'll find you. I'll find you there. I'll sue you there. I said, Larry, get the F out of here. I said, they can't find the governor there half the time. (laughs) So you can't find me. So, And then he said, listen, I'm going to send Dave. Dave was his driver. And he was a... He was an engineer, not an engineer, but a computer graphics guy. He said, I'll send Dave, just give Dave the belt, and I'll send you the money. I said, what? I said, is Dave going to bring some money? No, i I got to send that to you later. I said, do you think I'm stupid? I'm not turning over a belt to Dave or nobody else without an exchange to money for money to me first. I'm not doing it. So, and that's the last I heard of Larry Burton. So, where did the belt go in the end? Then that's a, that's another story. 
Right. Well, let's hear it. When when I was in WWE, uh, what year is this? Uh, just before Larry bought but, it, uh, he bought it in '97. So I suggest maybe '96 if you're still in WWF. Or is this? Oh, I, oh, I remember. WWE came to Nashville one time. After this, I wasn't working for the company, and I went down there, and I I, I was leaving. And I looked back in the door, and there was Lawler. Lawler waved, and then and then Lawler made a, uh, he made a, 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 a motion like this, like. Like, where's the belt? And uh, I went, oh, yeah, it's in the car. I'll be right back. <laughs> well, I went to the car, and I didn't see Lawler again for six years. <laughs> uh, but but you know what happened to that belt? Funny thing. Cool. I took it to one of these low-life independent shows, and when I got back, guess what? The belt was missing. Imagine that. So I really don't know where it went. God, that would be. I wonder if. I wonder if uh, that belt, the original, would be worth thousands now. Wouldn't be worth ten thousand, maybe not, but it'd be worth a bit. Oh, it'd be worth a bit. Yeah, it would. So I need to check on that. Oh, <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> I can't check on that. I don't have the belt. How? What would I be? Doing? I'd be lying. So. No, but the belt, the, I don't have the belt anymore. Mm. 